Shalom. This is the seventh video on Sefer Shmos. We're looking at Sedra's bow, Parak Yud, Pasuk Hey. So that's what we want to look at, Shmos Hey, Shmos Parak Yud, Pasuk Hey. And uh, let's start. The Pasuk says as follows, V'chisa as ain't haaretz, v'lo yuchol eros as haaretz, v'achol as yeser ha'pleita, ha'nishar as lachem mina barad, v'achol as kol ha'it ha'tzomeh ha'chem mina sadeh. So this is referring to the plague of locusts, and it says as follows that they covered the land, and you couldn't see the actual ground, and they uh, the, they ate everything, and the only thing that you're going to have is what they leave over to eat. Okay, so we have a debate here between Rashi and the Ibn Ezra. Fascinating machlokas. We're going to be looking at they're actually like the whole machlokas is maybe ten words tops, and we're looking at mach, at the uh, sefer at the, the different Masco, excuse me. Uh, es ein haaretz. Rashi says as follows: Es mara haaretz, and uh, it says velo yachol. The next day, Ramaskal haro aleros es haaretz. The people, when the locusts covered the land, so you couldn't see it. And as you looked at, all you'd see is like blanket of locusts. It sounds, if not terrifying, then absolutely gross and disgusting. But you would look down, and all you would see on the ground are uh, are locusts. You couldn't see. The Ibn Ezra takes a different approach. You have to read the Ibn Ezra carefully to see it. The Ibn Ezra has two different commentaries on Sefer Shmos. One is called his, his short parish, in Lush and Ka, uh, his, his parish of Katsar, and the other one is a parish Aruch, is the longer one. And no one really knows uh, why he wrote two parishim, or if one is really him, maybe one is different, but they're all very closely related. And here in his parish Aruch, he says, Vechisa, that it covered, Darach Mashal, it's a parable. He says, Vechisa, it doesn't, right? So he says, uh, he couldn't, they left out the fact that man couldn't see. But what Ibn Ezra is saying is that it was so dark that, uh, that you couldn't see. In other words, it was so dark you couldn't see the, uh, the face of the, you know, the, the locusts didn't cover the ground. What they did was they covered the sun. So, uh, and therefore you couldn't see because the, uh, the sun was covered. So that's an interesting, uh, as the locusts were in the air or they were on the ground. What's the concept here? Uh, the real wisdom of this machlokas is, uh, is only going to come out once we analyze it and try to see what the uh, what the machlokas is here between them. So that's what I'd like you to do, and I look forward to hearing your answers. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely incredible, and uh, I'd love to see it. Now, by the way, and behind me in this picture here, this is an absolutely amazing view of, uh, of something, and I'd love to hear what you think it is. You should recognize it. I'm hoping that you do. Okay, shalom.